Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Danny, the Wicked Awesome Gardener, coming at you from the Wicked Awesome Garden. And today, as you can see, it's very shady because I am filming in the very, very late afternoon. The sun is going down. It's about 6.30. And pretty soon, the sun is going to be behind those trees. It's going to be very cool and dark here in the garden. And that is the perfect time to do what we're doing today, which is releasing ladybugs. Yes, as you saw in the garden tour, there are aphids here on my Brussels sprouts. And while I was picking peas, all of a sudden my arms are covered in aphids. So, yep, ladybugs to the rescue. So today's video is gonna be very quick. We're gonna just check out these ladybugs as I let them go. And I'm gonna give you three tips on making sure that ladybugs stay in your garden instead of flying away. And they stick around and take care of all the nasty bugs that you don't want here. Once your ladybugs come in, if you don't want to release them right away or you can't just yet, you can keep them in your refrigerator for up to two weeks. There are some things you'll need to do to care for them, but that'll be for another video because today we're talking about release. Tip number one, make sure that you are releasing your ladybugs at the right time of day. The best time to release ladybugs is in the very, very late afternoon, as close to dusk as you possibly can. It's about 6.30 now. I would prefer to put these out closer to eight, but I have somewhere I need to be in a little while, so we're just gonna have to do this now. If I could wait until tomorrow, then I would put these in the refrigerator for the night and that would keep them uh, safe and well until I could bring them out in the uh, evening tomorrow. Tip number two, make sure there is a food source. Now, in my garden tour, we found the aphids here on the Brussels sprouts so that is where we were going to release these ladybugs. I may shake a few out over by the peas as well because I know that there are some aphids there, but this is gonna be food source central for them right now. So once we cut this open very carefully so we don't harm any of our precious ladybugs, we're going to put the mesh bag down underneath these Brussels sprouts down on the ground so that they can just wander out, crawl up the plant, and they will find that food source and they'll stick around and munch during the night and then they'll sort of spread out through the garden. They're not going to just take off en masse and leave you without any benefit for your garden. And tip number three, ladybugs need moisture. So I have my hose on mist. I'm gonna lightly spray the bag so that the mesh itself is damp. I'm going to mist my Brussels sprouts so that there are water droplets for them to drink. And then I have very gently cut the bag. Check it out. So you can see the ladybugs are already coming on out. Gonna place that just on the ground here, and here they come. If anybody's watching this really closely, you'll notice that they're already in the process of making new ladybugs. <laughs> I will take that. And there's a ladybug crawling on my phone and now up my finger while I'm filming these guys. Hello, little friend.
20 minutes and I haven't seen one fly away yet. But they are climbing. Well, it's been about half an hour and the ladybugs are sticking around. I don't think I've seen a single one fly away yet. Pretty awesome. So I'll check back tomorrow morning, see if we've still got a lot of ladybugs out here on the uh, Brussels sprouts and around the area. So we're here the next morning. Let's check out and see if we've got ladybugs left. Oh, there's a couple already. There we go, we've got one there. We got one hanging out here on the Brussels sprouts. There's still a cluster of them inside this bag. I mean, they'll make their way out eventually. We'll just let them hang out. There's a few more friends. Ooh, there's another one. another one. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch hiding in and around these leaves and I'm not sure if I can get the camera in there to inspect, but seems like they've stuck around. Ah, this is where they've all gone. They are all over the bush beans, which is fantastic. If there are aphids here, I mean, I haven't really looked, but I know that they're kind of prone. Check it out. They are all over the bush beans. Hello, little friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks again for coming along while we grow wicked awesome food from yard to table.